Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, we're going to shine the light on the Blue Mage, also known as the Almadoshi. This is one of my favorite classes in uh, Final Fantasy in the series. And the Blue Mage, if you're not aware of what it does, it basically they learn uh, enemy moves. So as they, uh, as they study their enemy, they'll learn uh, how to use the, the monster's abilities. So I've created an ability called Blue Study, and uh, you can give this whatever percentage you want. But for the sake of this video, I've set it to 99% success. So it's up to you what you want to set it to. I'm going to drop that, of course. But I, I wanted this video to go quickly, just to show you. So I have a 99% chance to learn the, the skill. In this case, I learned Poison Steam. Let's go ahead and uh, kill this bee real quick. I've put my character at level 99 just to be able to kill these things quickly to save time, but I wanted to show you how it sort of works. I've set up like a little area where you can learn most of the skills. So we're going to go ahead and study this Toxic Imp. And we've learned Black Fog. Um, level 99, but I'm still using a level 1 sword, so that's unfortunate. And now we're blinded. That's what Black Fog does in, in my game with ability. I'll show you uh, quickly, uh, now that you've seen how it, how it sort of works, I'm going to give myself all the abilities that I've created so far uh, for the Blue Mage. And uh, I'm just going to show you some of them really quickly. So as you would use the Blue, uh, Blue Mage Steady, you would learn the skills for, for, the, for the Blue Mage. Um, I've given the Blue Mage one healing spell, which you learned from this Queen, Queen Bee actually. And it's a four round regeneration with 20% uh, heal or 25% heal. But the Blue Mage will have uh, attack and debuff qualities. Um, let's get into the stats really quickly. I'll show you how to do that. So the Blue Mage isn't super hard to build, uh, but it's sort of customizable in a way where you have to it takes a lot of legwork that you've already laid um, if you've already made a bunch of skills for your enemies then this will be uh, a lot easier for you so I've already made a bunch of skills for my enemies so I uh, let's start off right at the top um, we're gonna make the state so you're gonna create a new state called study and uh, give it an icon and a, and a name and you won't have to give it anything except for remove at the end of battle and remove at turn end at one to one so it's just gonna last one turn while they're studying after you make the state, you want to go to your common events, and you're going to make the common event for the skill. So you're going to control a variable, right-click, insert new control variable, give it a name, call it blue study, or whatever you want to call it, really. And then you're going to um, set this one to a random number. So you're going to go to, uh, to set for the operation, and the operand will be random 1 to 100. And then you're going to make a conditional statement underneath that. So that conditional branch is going to say, um, if this variable of blue study is greater than or equal to uh, whatever number you want it to say. Like um, in this case, since it's greater than or equal to 1, there's a 99% chance that when they use this, the skill, it's going to turn on the switch. That'll let them learn the skill. So if you want it to be a 50% chance, you would put 50 here. If you want it to be a 25% chance that they learn the skill, you would put 75 here. If you want it to be really, really low and only give them a 10% chance to learn the skill, you would put 90 right here. In my game, I'd probably do like 75 or something like that. Um, then underneath that, you're going to control switches. So you right click, insert new, control switches. Create a new switch, call it blue study learned or learn skill or whatever you like to call it, but create a switch there. And uh, that's it for the common event. Next thing we're going to do is create skills. So uh, you would create your skills or use a skill that's already uh, assigned. Um, you're going to go to the enemies and give that skill to the enemy. Um, in this case, like for this, uh, this will be a skill that most people will have this built in tackle. So you just assign this to an orc. Then after you've assigned your skills to the enemies, you're going to go to troops. And you're going to set uh, the conditions for this troop event. Um, 
you're gonna have to you can't really use the MV plugin well you can you still use the plugin but you won't be able to just make one event and, and spread that across all of them because you want to have unique skills for each different uh, uh, monster however it's not really hard and it's easy to copy paste it once you've made it one time so let's make it for the first time we're gonna set our conditions to that switch that we turned on if the random number was high enough so we're gonna select our condition switch the blue study learned then we're gonna set our span to turn and then we're going to make a conditional branch underneath that saying, if the, uh, we'll go here and you're going to make a conditional branch and it's going to say on tab three and you're going to say if uh, the first monster is in the state of studied, which we'll go down to studied here, then we'll do this, no else handler is required. And then underneath that you're going to insert text saying that the players learned a skill. You're going to change skills. Uh, the text is right there. You're going to change skills and then um, award that skill by going to the operation of learn and then select that skill to the player who's going to be your blue mage and then uh, have them learn that skill. Then you're going to control the variable that we created in the common event and set it to zero. You're also going to control that switch that was the condition that we made in the common event and we're going to turn that off. That way they don't uh, get that number one time. They can just hit every uh, enemy with study and learn. They have to actually roll that high percentage on each, on each uh, try. So that's it for that common event. Um, after you've set the conditions, the span, and made this one conditional branch, you would just copy paste this. Say there was another uh, queen bee, you would just copy paste this and change the conditional statement to saying instead of queen bee one, queen bee two, and you would hit OK. And then if there was another one, you would just paste it again to do the same thing. Uh, so for the next, uh, you're going to do this for every for every creature. And the only thing that you're going to change is the, the text. If you wanted to give the text, you don't even have to do that. But then you're going to change the skill that they're actually learning. So it, it seems like a lot of stuff, but it's really not. You just copy, paste, and change one uh, by editing one thing. And, uh, and that's it. And you're going to do this for any en enemy that has a skill that you would learn. Like for this one, we're learning a fire seizure ability. So I could just paste that here, set that to the spider on one, and then change the text and change the skill. And that's it. So um, that's it for this. I'm going to show you one more thing. Uh, let's go to your... Uh, since this is a spotlight, we're going to go to the, the classes, and I'll show you the stat. So for the Blue Mage, I've set the experience curve 2020, 2020. This is going to be different for each game. Also over here, you're going to create, uh, I forgot to tell you, uh, to, to add a new skill type uh, and create uh, the blue skill type or call it whatever you like. That way when you create the skill for blue study, you're going to put that under blue. And you could probably think of some other cool ideas to give the blue, like maybe like a scan ability or something. I'll, I'll come up with a tutorial on for scan. But uh, when you create this blue study skill, um, you're going to have to do certain things on the effects in a certain order. So you're going to have to add uh, the state first and then the common event underneath that. So you right click insert new, go to state, and then add state to uh, study. Add study to 100%. And then you're going to put the scope for one enemy. And then you're going to do a, the common event call that we created right underneath that. So common event call for uh, blue study. So we have state applied and then the common event is called the scope is one enemy give it whatever name description you like if you want it to, to require mp or tp that's up to you occasion battle screen only uh, i've allowed it to be certain hit i think it should be but it's up to you you can do it whatever you want give it whatever message you like and that's all you need to do for the skill um, let's go back to the classes looking at the parameter curves um, i've given it uh, class b hp class c mp uh, B attack, C defense, B magic attack, C defense, B agility, and C luck. Uh, they don't really have any A parameters or any D parameters. They're pretty rounded since a lot of their abilities will use different parameters in, in my abilities anyway. You're going to award the skill type of blue. I have gave them uh, the weapon type of sword, but you can give them whatever you like. I've increased their critical rate by 1% and their hit rate by 1%, but that's up to you. Um, uh, they can't use heavy armor, but they can use general magic and light armor. And all of my classes have preserved TP by default. Um, that's going to do it for this class spotlight for the Blue Mage. Thank you guys for watching. Continue to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you like this content. Um, you guys are awesome. Continue to watch. Leave your comments below if you have a special request, and I'll get to it. Um, thank you for watching again, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.